I'm Claudia Boot. I'm a research scientist here in the MMA. And I have an assistant today, Stephanie Cardinale, who's going to be helping me out with some training videos. Uh, one of the most important components of generating high quality NMR data is good sample preparation. And there are several components to this. The first is making sure that your NMR tube is not cracked, chipped, or warped. If you're concerned your tube may be warped, uh, you can check it in the gauge at the MMA. And if it slides freely into the gauge, then you know it's not warped. If it gets stuck anywhere along the way, then you'll want to replace that tube with a different one. Uh, the next thing to consider when preparing your sample is the amount of solvent you'll use. A uh, good rule of thumb is the rule of three fingers. So if your solvent fills up to the top of your uh, forefinger in this image, then you should be good and have enough solvent to get a nice quality shim. Uh, the last thing to consider when uh, preparing your samples is to not affix any permanent flags or tape or labels. Um, those will interfere with the tube when it goes into the NMR. Welcome to the MMA NMR training. Uh, we will start with uh, loading your sample into the magnet. So take your NMR sample and load it into a spinner. And then push the spinner far enough up so that you can clean the bottom of the tube. Once you've removed dirt from the tube, gauge it in the sample gauge. And make sure that your sample solvent fills entirely the space on the five millimeter line. Then you can uh, find an empty, empty slot in the auto sampler and load your sample into the auto sampler. And have a seat at the console, remove gloves, and log in to your account. When you request this training, an account will be created for you. And so it will be here when you come in to do your proficiency test. You'll find your e-name and put in the password, which is lowercase nmr, the number four, and capital C, capital S, capital U. Select the position in the software that corresponds with the position that you loaded your sample in on the auto sampler and add a new experiment by clicking the add button on the software. Name your sample something that makes sense to you. Avoiding special characters, use only numbers, letters, dashes, and underscores. The experiment number field will automatically populate so you can move on to the solvent and select your solvent from the list in the dropdown. Then move over to the experiment window, click the drop-down menu, and select the experiment that you'd like to do on your, on your sample. Uh, you can change default parameters by clicking on the equal sign, such as the number of scans or dummy scans for your experiment and more advanced parameters as well. When you change the default parameters, you'll notice a red box with a yellow exclamation point, and that just means you've altered the parameters from default. If you have a sample that will run for a longer runtime than you're allotted during the day, you can shift that sample into the night queue. If you click on the sun, it will change to a moon, and that will move the sample into the night queue where longer acquisition times are permitted. Once you have all of your parameters selected for your sample, including uh, the nucleus, your sample name, the experiment you want, then you'll go to the submit button and click submit. When you've finished loading your samples, click on the change user button to log yourself out of the software, but do not close the software or any of the open windows on the desktop. Once your samples are queued, you can leave the lab. 
and uh, you'll receive an email that contains your uh, notification that your sample has been completed, as well as your data in both an integrated and peak pick uh, PDF, as well as the FID file. When you get your email that your samples have completed running, please return to the lab and remove your samples from the auto sampler for retrieval. We will uh, collect samples that have been left in the auto sampler and hold them for uh, one week in our fume hood in the MMA lab. And if you haven't returned to uh, recover your samples, those tubes will be do donated to grad students in need of high quality NMR tubes. <laughs> You can come in and delete your completed experiment from the experiment window and log out and your NMR sample acquisition is complete. <laughs>